Hey, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and setting up the Polycom Studio video conference camera with Microsoft Teams. So what is Polycom Studio video conference camera? This camera is uh, designed in a very unique way for conference and for teaching in classrooms as well. So this camera is uh, very large for the size, yes, but have a great sound and a great speaker. And the lenses of this camera can actually capture a very wide angle. And also you can actually setting up the place where the camera is going to be focused. And I'm going to get into this and later on the video. But for now, let's go ahead and check at the box what is coming with the remote control with two AAA batteries, a power adapter, a five meter USB 2.0 cable type C to type A, a wall mount kit and a setup sheet. And of course, the polycam. Polycom Studio installation. So to start the installation, just go and grab the cable for the power supply, connect on the back uh, right to your device. And the USB type C, you're gonna connect also to, and to your left side of the camera, right like this, make sure that it's tight. And once you finish connecting those, you're gonna take another uh, saw another part of the USB and connect it to your desktop or laptop. So your back of your camera should be just like that with the wires passing through in the middle metal right there. Once you connect it and the computer is gonna show this little icon that's being setting up. Also, if you want to use your speakers from your camera, you come down here and select the echo canceling speaker phone. Setting up with Microsoft Teams. Go ahead and open Microsoft Teams. And once you open, you're gonna look for your profile on the top of the software. You're gonna click, you're gonna go to settings, and you're gonna go to devices. Once you open devices, you're gonna see that the Polycam Studio is already setting up as your default. So the audio, the speaker and microphone, and down here, the camera as well. So if everything is correct like this, you can go ahead also and make a test call right here. Once you click there, it will go through a test call for you to test your camera, your speaker and your microphone for your device. Polycom Studio Remote. All right, now let's go and take a look on the controller of the Polycom. Uh, First of all, let's start with the mute. The mute button is very simple and very, uh, you know, it's very uh, auto understanding. You just press mute and <clears throat> you're gonna see that it mutes the uh, polycom. See if you, you know, for mute your mic on the camera, you press again and it goes back to normal. Now, uh, the volume, very simple as well. You're gonna press up and down. You'll see on your screen right there, when you press up or press down, see you going up and down. So <clears throat> that's very simple as well. And one thing that you probably wonder is, what is this number one and number two means? And the answer for that is, the number one, number two is basically uh, places on the screen that you can set up for the polycam aim to show on the screen. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. So when the uh, polycam cams and uh, you don't touch anything, the polycam is gonna go and follow, just like that. It's following automatically. You see me recording as well here, but it follows automatically, see? So when you want to use this feature right here, you're gonna click here, this part, this button right here, and you're gonna see that the polycon is gonna go back to normal. 
See, you go back to the full screen. Once you go back to the full screen, you can zoom. See, you can zoom in and zoom out, zoom in and zoom out. Okay. Once you have the feature, this whole pad here is available as well. So you can go left, you can go right, but to go left and right, you have to zoom. You cannot leave it. Uh, if you click, if you click in the middle, it goes back to all the way normal and then it don't work. It has to zoom in where you want and then you can move forward, uh, left, right, up or down. And this is what the feature is for those two. Let's say you want to set up the first camera on yourself. You won't see because I'm recording right now. Or let's say you want to focus on yourself. You focus on yourself using this tool and the zoom and you hold and press one. And they're going to make a noise. It's going to make a noise and you let it go. You just hold and press. And the number two, <clears throat> let's say you want to zoom to a record X or someplace else on the on the camera, maybe the record X next to you, behind you. Let's say that this part right here is a record X or any part that you wanted to record as a second scene. You zoom, make sure that it's there. And you, keep, and you go and press two. This is my office, so don't worry about it. <clears throat> so what happened now is you can change you just press one, goes back to you. You press two, goes back to the scene or the place you want to aim. So this is what I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm showing you is if you are a teacher and you want to zoom on you to talk to the, the kids and you want to go ahead and zoom on the screen for the record decks or another device that you want to show the kids in the classroom, you just click two because it's already set up that way. And if you wanna click, uh, if you wanna go back to the Y view, you click in the middle right here. Y view like this, zoom on you, zoom on the screen that you show the lessons or whatever you wanna show and go back to here. That's why this functionality, and when you wanna go back to the functionality to follow you, you click back here, click back the square right here and you see that it's gonna be following you. If you take a moment right now, you see it's follow me and going to do all these things. So this is the functionality of the uh, the controller. Now this bottle right here and the Bluetooth is to connect it to some kind of a Bluetooth device phone for a conference. It will, you, if you're a teacher on your classroom, you're not really gonna need this at all. So those are the functionalities of the, 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 the remote, which is very good, especially that two scenes to make sure that, uh, and to work the two scenes, remember to work those two scenes, you have to click here first to make sure it's in the mode that it's not following you. It's gonna click and then you can press one, press two, whatever you is already set up. You can change those set those those setups as well when you just hold and hold uh put the scene you want hold and save it polycom studio companion app if you wanted to download the application to enhance your picture and quality uh go ahead and go to this website right here and it's going to be in the description be below and once you're there just click right into this uh, part right here to download for your windows and we'll actually just click agreement agree with that and you're going to see that it's downloaded to your computer click to open click yes and click the language which is english or another language click ok go ahead and here I agree with as well and install the application once you install the application completed just launch the app the app is going to open up and this is the app for you. The icon on your computer is going to look like this. OK, so when you come back here, go to the firmware right here to your right. And you're going to see here that is update and uh, for the controller and also for your polycam. Just this message, don't worry about just click X to exit. Go back to the polycam uh, studio and to your left. 
And when you open, you're going to see the information from your Polycam. All the information from your uh, device is right here. Uh, it's just a status. Then you go to the user settings and the camera control. This is basically the controlling of your camera. There's nothing really that you, if you wanted to use it from here, you can use any control. And now go to uh, the uh, advanced camera settings. This is where you want to click and you, if you wanted to uh, change your brightness, your contrast, your saturation, your sharpness. Everything is in control right here. You can put a little darker or a little bit lighter. Uh, and uh, once you uh, apply to your camera the way you want, um, you go ahead and uh, click apply down below. You can also put auto, but I don't suggest to put auto because it will change your camera to brightness to, to low to, to high all the time. So once you finish, also this part right here, uh, is that just a camera control for zoom? Uh, I don't really know if you're gonna need it, but this is also an option here if you guys wanted to use it. Uh, once you change everything that you want to change, you just click apply, click OK, and it will be set up for you. The next tab is uh, Bluetooth. Uh, if you want to connect any Bluetooth device on your camera, the audio settings is the way you want to transmit audio to your room. Uh, you can choose over here and play around with that as well, depending on your room. Uh, the next step will be a demonstration settings, which is just for demonstrations and diagnostic. All right, I hope this video was very helpful for you. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to receive more contents like that as well. And if you have any questions or any concerns or any troubleshoot with this camera, Go ahead and post and write it down in the comments below and i'll go ahead and get back to you so thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in the next one